What's up guys, it's your boy Beatty back again with another video. Before I start the video, I just wanna say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my page, the old ones and the new ones all alike. I really appreciate the comments I've been getting. A lot of people noticed the increase of quality in my videos, my editing, my new camera, you know, the sound, everything. I'm just trying to step it up and I appreciate those who've noticed and have left some uh, nice comments there in the comment section letting me know how they feel about that. I appreciate that. Listen, YouTube is something I do. I love to do it. I do get paid, you know, my page is monetized, but I don't make a lot of money off of YouTube, right? This is not, this is not why I do it. I'm not a YouTuber. I don't do YouTube to try to make money. Hopefully I can uh, motivate some people, inspire some people. Uh, I know when I was, you know, young and upcoming, I was, uh, I would get inspired by a lot of people posting, you know, like the old Rodney Coleman videos, even the uh, Chris Jones. I was, you know, I am a big Chris Jones fan. Just, you know, people we can find motivation from, you know, like maybe they came from similar circumstances as you. Um, anybody who's been following me for a while knows, you know, came from the New York, uh, Harlem projects, all that. Um, you kind of see as I went from moving to LA and not having a car to, you know, just just, just the, the growth over time, to having some sponsors, you know, and uh, working for, for LA Fitness for a while and just things like that. So people can see the growth and hopefully I can motivate them, you know, to get some growth in their life as well, both physically, mentally, and uh, financially. I appreciate all the support. Please continue to show me some love and I'll continue to part this content, you know, the more likes I get, the more comments it gets, it's gonna motivate me to get these videos out. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's not easy for me to get these videos out. You know, I, I do work full time as an online coach, contest prep coach and personal trainer. So um, this is definitely hard work. It takes me quite some time to edit these videos. As you can see with the my editing style that I like to do, um, it's pretty, pretty uh, intricate. So I do appreciate that and guys, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. You know, I know we all say this in all our videos, but we actually mean it. If you like the channel, if you like it, if, if, if you watch it regularly, or even if you don't watch regularly, leave a like. It means a lot. It helps the channel out. You know, leave a comment there. You know, share it with your friends. If you know other, you know, you have friends that are into working out and like this kind of content, send it to them. Like, yeah, check this out. Cool video, whatever. So, once again, I appreciate you guys, and um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So without further ado, enjoy this video.
feel like I had a little groove in that shit. goes hard like we don't expect you to hit the weight but like the, don't be scared to, to, to match your set for set like you know no no excuses you just gotta Push, push, push. Because it's lean. And uh, I I've been subbing it for ground beef, some of the meals, but 96% ground beef. It, it has no flavor, but I put marinara sauce in. Just a little bit. I, I weigh it out and everything. It's like 8 grams of carbs, so I do that. But uh, no two meals, no nothing. So. 
I mean, it's working. I, I feel like my, my the body composition is shifting, but it's kind of boring. It's a little boring, man. Can I give me a lift, Andrew? Yeah. <laughs> that was no range of motion, that was like a bit. I'm gonna go two and a quarter. Let me move up there. You want to hurry up here, okay? I didn't feel nothing on that one. You said it was good, bro? Right, guys so now we're doing inclined chest fly supersetted with I call them chest busters I don't really know if there's a correct official name for it huh or I guess you, you could call it like close grip chest press I don't know but that's what I call oh yeah how's it called Sven? Sven Fest how many? uh 10 and 10 Sven Dali I don't know <laughs> something let's just get heavier Hi guys, so that's a wrap for chest day. My squad and I reunited back again. They finally left that bullshit ass gym. Uh, <laughs> let me stop being petty, but they, they finally left that other gym and joined a real ass gym to get a real ass workout. So we killed it. We killed chest. Uh, I'm really proud of the, uh, the workout. Craziest chest pump I've gotten in the longest time. And um, I feel great, man. Great pump. Strength was pretty good. My strength wasn't over the top, but it was pretty good. Good enough as I needed it. Got some good volume, got some good reps. Uh, Angel, my boy Angel, that, that's the barber. He actually hit, uh, he's only like a 200 pounds, but yeah, he actually hit two PRs. He hit 140s for like 12. And then he got 150s for maybe like eight reps, something like that. But uh, I'm really proud of him. He's been making gains like crazy. Um, I do his diet, I do his training. Well, he works out with me, so uh, I can't say I do his training, but he does my workout with me. And since he's been working with me, he's probably gained like 15 pounds of muscle in like a matter of months. And um, he's gonna keep climbing, honestly. He's gonna keep climbing. Like, uh, he wants to compete next year, and I'm positive he could do that. That guy is stacked, man. Like, for his height and structure, he's pretty stacked. So, anyway, that's a wrap. About to hit some cardio, and then, um, Oh, there's some calves, cardio, and then uh, I'm gonna head back home. So I guess I'll see you guys back at the crib. Puta, you the goat, boy.
Pause the video and guess in the comment section. And what? Huh? What'd you say? No, no not sure. I, I was talking to the viewers. 22. Deuce, deuce. Get a little more. Let go of it a little bit and flex it out. You gotta flex it out a little more. So as you can see, it still wasn't on the peak. So I'm gonna have to redo that again next time.
It's, it's gonna be here. 22 and a half. Uh, I'll take it. Yeah, 17 and a half. 17 and, yeah, 17 and a half. Boom. A little bit There we go, there we go. There Flex we go. room. So your, your goal is 20. I got a long way to go. All right, guys, that's a wrap for arm day with the squad. Everybody on the squad looking good, man. Everybody looking good. Performance is good. Everybody doing big things, and I'm I'm honestly proud of a uh, proud of my squad, man. They look good. They getting busy. They keeping up with me. I love to see it. But that was that was a real good arm day, man. That was probably my my best arm day in in quite some time. The pump was crazy. Um, the strength was good, the energy was good, the vibe was good. Everything was just fire. And, um, yesterday's leg workout was my best leg leg day in a long time, in probably years, so months at least. And um, I, I love the energy, man. I got my my training partner, the back training with me. It's just uh, it's just good vibes, man. Good energy, and um, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to train. I'm really excited for tomorrow's workout, which is back. I'm just. I'm just super excited to work out and it's just it's just fun. It's just it's honestly extremely fun. Like this is like I, I love to do this shit, right? Like I just love to do this shit. Like you can't explain it to everybody. Some people are like, how do you stay motivated? And it's like, what you mean? Like, how do you stay motivated to play video games? Like, it's not about motivation, it's about you it's passion. It's you love it and you, you wanna do it, you know what I'm saying? So um I love this shit man and I I, I love doing it. So anyway. I finish arms. I still gotta do forearms and calves and then uh, a little bit of cardio and I'm gonna call it a day. So, see you guys back at the crib.
Come guys I'm back here at the crib and this video is coming to an end but I wanted to mention that right now I am 12 weeks out from the USA's where I will be attempting to get my pro card this is my first national show um, I've been qualified for national shows for quite some time now uh, for those who follow me knows uh, Y'all know I've won shows already in the past and I've been qualifying pretty much for Since I've been competing, but I'm not somebody who just jumps in the show just to see and get my feet wet I jump into the show to win period and if I didn't feel like I was in the conversation for the win I wouldn't be doing it. So this is why I've waited so long to jump into the USA's and um uh, I feel like I'm ready. I feel like I'm ready and I feel like I have a very good chance of getting my pro card So that's why I'm doing it. So follow me along on my journey. You'll follow my training, how my training changed, how my diet changes um, I, I showed y'all a video of a, a full day of eating um, I think that was like, I don't know, 13 weeks out. What was in that video? Nevertheless, prep is turning up and I can't wait to you know show you guys the package I bring come December 11th. But without dragging this out too long, the video is probably already long as hell. So if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at BeattyFall on Instagram. Email me for coaching at BeattyFall at iCloud.com for online coaching, contest prep, personal training, blah, 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 blah. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Gains.